we talk a lot about getting women into politics and uh, if we can't actually protect the women staffers in our own workplaces, uh, we have a long ways to go. So I think this legislation is an important step in changing a culture that has tolerated this type of behavior for, well, probably since the country was created. <laughs> I experienced harassment and sexual violence in my life, in my workplace. And I think that if you talked to many of the staffers around this hill, uh, especially the vulnerable ones, especially the young ones, we live and work in an environment here on Parliament Hill that is ripe for this experience. We have young, young staffers, often in precarious work positions, who are uncertain about the stability of their position, who are working with much older, much more powerful people. There is liberal access to alcohol. Uh, you know, this is an environment that actually sets up a culture that allows and perpetuates this behavior. So I can tell you that in the conversations I talk to uh, young staffers about, these, these are the kinds of things they told me. I can tell you that culture change is not only going to change the legislation. It takes a culture of zero tolerance. It takes leadership in every organization to stand up and say, this is not acceptable. Time's up. We are not going to sit back and listen to, you know, whispers and rumors and innuendo and do nothing about it. So I'm proud of the leadership of the Prime Minister. I'm proud of the leadership of our government and I think it's overdue.